G'day guys, today we've got an IMSA race at the extremely hot Watkins Glen. Um, qualified at the back of the field, took it pretty easy. Uh, there are some ridiculously high rated drivers in here. Looks like it's only single split. Um, so I didn't want to get mixed up in, in anything further up. Up there in the little blue car, you might see the right car down there, there's Jeremy. He uh, He's on comms with me too, so... You'll probably be hearing him throughout the race, and yeah, let's see how we go. I'm just going to take it easy, at least for uh, first couple of laps until we get into our pace, uh, get into our rhythm, and we'll we'll go from there. waiting for everybody to grid up. I've got another 25 seconds before it uh, auto starts here. So we'll be underway sh shortly. What's your predictions, Jeremy? Um, oh, couldn't tell you, mate. I'm a bit nervous about this P19. one. The track temp is 52. I'm going to say I'll come 10th. Okay, okay. As long as I can crack like the top 15, I'll be happy. If I can get in the top 10, even Follow better. Follow car number 24 in the right lane. Yeah, be good. If top I finish 10, the need, race. Need some, better than need some good IR. Alright, have fun, man. Yeah, you too. Doo -doo. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this one too. Um, what's the track temp? We don't have the data. Uh, sorry, Jim. What's the track temp? We don't have that data. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, so, track temp uh, was 52 degrees before in qualifying. Let's see what it is when the race starts. But uh, qualifying was 52 degrees. Nice and warm. Probably one of the warmest I've seen it. So we go head around for our parade lap now. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, HPD cars. Um, you'll see them off in the distance, just if you can see them. Um, probably not. There are some GT3 cars behind as well. They're the pink coloured cars. Looks like there's four or five of them or so. Uh, so this is a multi-class race. So there is going to be lots of passing. There is going to be a lot of overtaking. Uh, hopefully no stupid moves like that. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's a brake check coming down the straight. That's a great idea. As we head into the bus stop, everybody tends to panic a little bit because... People don't know how to run too wide. Just like this. Just like that beam on. Good luck everybody. Good luck. Yeah, I... Be yeah. safe guys from the first corner. I am a little bit nervous about this one too, actually. But that's alright. We'll be sweet. As long as we can make it around the track for 45 minutes, we'll be alright. The Vodafone Beamer right there. Oh, you don't actually want to line up with the other dude, do you? Hey. I know what's going on with this starting formation. There's people all over the shop. Still got a couple of corners to go, but... Oh, boy. Oh, it's a good mirror, that one, isn't it? It looks right at my guard. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get ready to go here pretty soon. Back marker. <laughs> nice. Little bumper sticker on that one. Um, we're probably 
There's only okay, two so guys behind. Neat. Stay out of trouble. So. Go, go, go. Okay, well. Looks like they're going to stay back there, so that's okay. I'm going to take it a little bit easy coming down here, though. Get a good run out of here. Catch the slipstream on the way up. Hopefully there's no accidents up ahead or into the bus stop. They generally happen just up here as everybody tussles for positions down the straight. And uh, everyone gets caught up and yeah, ends in a big ship fight. Through the bus stop we go. Ahead is now 0.6. Thanks, Jim. All right. Good clean race from the IMSA boys for once. There's a horrible corner. That's okay. Ooh, what was there? Very. Oh, cautious on the grass there. Oh, one off. And now the silliness starts. You can see these two fighting up ahead already. See Jeremy up there, five or six cars up. I didn't mean to jump on the brakes there. That was habit from GT3s. All right, we're going to stay this distance away from the car in front. I like it. We're good. We're comfy. P18. Didn't mean to come all the way back into second gear. Uh, I am car number 27 for this race. Uh, so in P18... I should already hopefully make some good gains. I have a feeling something is going to happen here. My spotty sense is tingling. Nope, they both got through there. That's good. As the corner comes back to you, take off again. I'm not taking any of these corners properly. Um, really just a game of survival right now. I just want to make sure that if someone ahead has a crash, uh, that I have sufficient time and space to react to it. That's all I really care about right now. Guys behind seem to be pretty settled and organized. See Jeremy out there. God, the cars are slippery. <laughs> we just want to keep this margin on this guy and keep okay, doing so what I'm we're doing. On the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Pulled away from the cars behind. It looks like they might have had an accident. Maybe. Not sure. Looks like they've fallen off pretty far. Guys are battling up ahead. Good couple of laps so far.
Try a different line through there, try and get a bit more run out. Looks like it paid dividends on the timing. I hate that corner. Really don't want to start pushing this guy. Stick I'm happy it, just to run pressure. what we've got. That's horrible. I break a little bit late through there, but that's okay. That's why I'm leaving the as much space as I can, so... Come on, man, keep pushing. margin of error, not just for me, That's but for them too. Today. That last lap is a 146.5. Very slow. Uh, qualifying... The top guys are doing 143s. Oh, it's so slippery, even through there. Come on, find the gap. I'm happy, Jim. I'm happy. Don't push me. Cars behind are still as far back as what they were before, which is good. If they start to gain on us, we'll have to start pushing a little bit far, a little bit harder, a little bit faster, but for now we're alright. I need to take a different line into that corner to try and reduce the slip on exit because uh, the slippery track is not helping. Perfect, we've maintained exactly the same gap to this guy for four laps so far, so I'm very happy with how we're going. B18. He seems to be pushing really hard as well. You can see him s slide into a lot of corners, especially that first one there, and coming into the bus stop okay, up here, you'll see him slide in as well. Wait for him to make a mistake. So that's exactly what I need to wait for, Jim. Wait for him to fuck up, and then I'll uh, capitalise on it. window for refuel will open after 26 minutes and closes at about 36 minutes. These are fairly long races. I mean 45 minutes is not a huge amount of time but when you take into account the uh, HPD cars, oh, looks like someone's got to slow down. The HPD cars and the GT3 cars, the traffic as well, it um, can cause a bit of a stir. It's a bit of a better line through there. The later apex. I'm happy to sit oh, right here. Front of this guy. Um, Jim, I reckon we're pretty good, bro. You've just done a 147.13. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 1.6. Slow as balls. Beam up ahead. Just had a pace. big sideways moment. Big catch. Looks like Porsche, whatever his name is, Weston will get him. Kevin, bye. On your right. 
Still there. Thank you very much, sir. I will take that. Still there. Right side's clear. Car right. Clear right. Looks like the guys up ahead are tussling and screwing around okay, as well, Simon, so the next car is we'll take that. These two are going to take each other out, I think. A little bit of a lock-up going into there, but that's okay. I jumped off it as quickly as we lost traction, so not too bad at all. Hope for the late exit, get on the power. There we go. Beautiful. Nice little gap ahead, nice little gap behind. He's all over you. Keep your exit speed. You got a better Stay exit smooth. than we did, but P17. that's okay. That lap was a 147.00. Zero incident race so far, so so far so good. I just had your buy, mate. It's got to know you Okay. I don't know what's happening up here. I am scared. The gap behind is now 0 0.40. This is a massive gaggle. Saw that coming. Left side. And capitalized coming into here as well. Hold your line. Still there. Give it as much room as we can. Still there. Clear We're left. Still there. We're clear. Car left. I had a little bit, bit of a break up. Hold your line. Lock up there, but that's clear okay because we can get on the power early and we can pull away. He's got front damage as well, so that's going to cost him time down the back straight, which is good for us. Because he might not be able to catch us down there then. Beautiful. There we go. That's how we do it. That's how we make up positions. And then we just have to hustle to keep, catch up to uh, Mr. Weston in front of us. Place. That was a horrible corner. Need to break a little bit earlier for that. He's not really making up much time down here, which is good for me. There's a horrible exit, but that's okay. He's not gonna. Be able Thank to do you. anything. All right, Simon. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Yep. Thanks, Jim. Is he going to have a go up here? I don't think he's got the balls for it. I could just slow him up. If I can back him up into couscous. Cooks this. I like couscous better. Uh, then we'll be sweet. If not, that's fine. We can just start to run away. The gap to Robinson behind is increasing. It's now 0.8. You've just done a 146.92.
probably break a little bit harder or earlier into that first corner. I don't like the runoff so much as you can see on the timing, we've already lost 0.2 the second, but a lot of that will come down to not having the draft as well, so. like that corner. I know I said it earlier, but just to reiterate. Break his draft a little bit, he's out to a second already. Two little break uh, lock ups there, but that's okay. The track is nice and warm. Oh boy. This feels like there's no grip at all. Uh, we won't be changing tyres either. Uh, looks like there's a change for position back there. is now 3.5 yeah that's fine this guy's running away that's fine by me I'm happy with where we're at we're up in 15th that was horrible this guy's still in draft just it looks like he either defended or knocked someone out. Good old Robinson. The gap to Robinson behind is now 1.4. Just gave it a little dab of break there to help with turn in. That was much better. Okay, Simon, you've got half your fuel left. Beautiful, we're doing alright. See if we can't break the draft coming up here. There we go, 1.4. Can we get that 1.5? Here we go, Shouldn't have breathed on the throttle there, coming into that corner. Push this out a little bit wide. This Daniel Robinson guy is quicker than us, but I think the damage is holding him back, so... Yellow flag, we're good. caution. Uh oh, we got a yellow flag up here too. We can take it easy for a bit. Johnny Liu. The next car is Liu. Come on, buddy. Who just decided to pull right out 
on the track. I gave him as much room as I could without sacrificing the position behind. Um, yeah, not good. That lap time was 148.03. Tires should be proper cooked. Don't let this guy distract you. Thanks. That's okay, it'll help us pull away from Daniel a little bit. Daniel's real quick up here. P15. And we had a lot of aero wash. Holy shit. Did not expect that at all. We try and try down the middle of the road and get the run on the exit and keep the inside line. Nah. He's in the wrong gear. Now we're backed up with Robinson again. So that's good. He's clearly got better front tyres than what we have too, by the look of it. He's got a lot more grip. Maybe it's just his VRS setup, not sure. But how we get the exit on him every time. let uh, Johnny run away unfortunately First X. Okay, Simon, we're halfway home. Should be about 13 minutes of fuel remaining. I think now's probably a good time to pit, to be honest. I'm worried about this guy rear ending us. Um, but I'm not sure how far into the. GT3s that will put us and if that's the case then that's a lot of time wasted and a lot of time spent plus the dangers of uh, slower cars and traffic Just stick it out for a little bit I think that's for our mate Daniel Robbo it's probably a good idea for him to pit. The gap to I'm holding Robinson him up behind a fair bit, it's and that's the idea. That's a good corner, that one. I'm going to start to pull out that gap on him. Down the straight again, and then seesaws back in here. Yeah, quite a lot. I lose like four tenths on him down there. I can be driving a lot faster than what I am, but. As I said earlier, there's a lot of IR to gain here, so I don't particularly want to bid my car this early and have to worry about losing some of that later on. Okay. 
Time to get defensive, mate. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes lineup. left. We had a little twitch there as we hit the grass with the left rear. Whew, that was close to bidding it, actually. B14. Second gear's no good around there. Simon, 10 minutes of fuel remaining. We just don't have the turn-in that he has there. Like at all. I don't know how he's got that thing set up, but... Oh. Puts trying to drive it nice and easy. That lap was at 147.00. The gap to Robinson behind is increasing. It's now 0.9. Thanks, Jim. He didn't catch any time, maybe a tenth through that time, so whatever we did worked well. Better line through there. Maybe he's got a slowdown. No. It's just run, running a funky line because he could. We got a little bit sideways coming out of there. That's not good. That's going to cost a lot of time. He's getting backed up now. Uh, with Couscous again. I'm sorry, mate. If you ever watch this video, you won't. Who am I kidding? But I'm sorry. That was horrible. Okay, we didn't lose a lot of time. Now I'm panicked. I just gotta chill for a sec. There we go. No back out. Beautiful. What's the track temp? The track temperature is now 50 Celsius. P13. That was a uh, 147.36. I might actually do is give us a click or two of rearward bias on the brakes. Help reduce those front lockups a little bit. Just one click. Let's see how we go. Coming into the GT3 field now. You're coming up on a slower car. Thanks, Jim. I just said that. Oliver Rio. And a Audi. You don't see many of those very often. Left. 
Clear left. The gap to Robinson behind is now 1.0. OK, Simon, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let and the race course. come to us. 15 minutes left. That's 15 <laughs> I minutes. I didn't know if we were going to slide out to him. Or if he was going to come into us, or... Yeah, oh, Jesus. How much fuel to the end? I didn't catch that. Oh, Jim. You don't know Australian accents. How much fuel to the end? 21 litres. Oi, that was a big one. I don't know who that was. It was a Ferrari. So someone's binned it into the pits. 10th position. You've just done a 147.37. Your lap times are pretty consistent. Thanks. That's what I was going for. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. Okay, so we'll pit this lap and get it out of the way. Now we got everything set. Yeah, fuck it. Crew chief will look after it. Front is pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. Wasn't the best pit entry, but it'll do. You can see our little man standing there. So we'll go pull up to him, grab what we need, and take off again. And he's a sick right attire. Mad suit. Beautiful. We'll be back down the queue a little bit. Uh, the track temperature is okay. decreasing. It's now 49 Celsius. Exit's clear. Push. Let's see if we can get a slipstream of these guys. I'm still western. Who was and probably still is behind us. Uh, we've missed some of the HPD fun, which is good. Still so slippery. Wish it wasn't so warm. Can have a good battle, good race with people, but... Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. not fast around this track and I don't particularly care. It's not a track that I care for. As popular as it is in the iRacing service, it's not one that uh, that I write. 14th, on your right, clear right.
Oh, Couscous got out ahead of us. What? Nah, not for long. Stay on here. it. This isn't over yet. Okay, Simon. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. There's a faster class car behind. Blue flag. It's an HPD. Oh, sorry. HPD? No. A uh, DP in this series. Not an HPD. That's in the ILMS series. The Daytona prototypes are into their Corvettes. Car right. Clear right. Helped me a little bit there. Almost had an opportunity to grab that. Had a little bit of target fixation going into that corner. Too busy staring at the back of uh, Kustas. Your last lap time was at 147.50. Sector 2 is 1.2. Off the pace. Robinson's miles back. So we're still in top 15, that's where we wanted to be. Got zero tyres. Another X. Another one X. Oh no, Simon. Track limits, come on. Hey Jim, brother, that's only two. Relax, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to get this position. Um, I just don't know whether we've got the car to get it, to be honest. Come on, move, man. This man, this track don't gel for whatever reason. That was very close to the wall. Holy shit. P13. P13, even better. We're getting really good at that first corner. The consistency is really good. I can seem to catch and pull away from anybody coming down there, which is good, but unfortunately I lack it into the bus stop up here and, well, pretty much for the rest of the track. Especially when you do that and lock it up. Car left, clear left. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. I need to take that a little bit wider. Now break himself heading into there, which is good. And then I did the same thing coming out of there. So swings and roundabouts. <laughs> Is 
turned in way too early there, holy shit. That's five minutes to go, five minutes. I'm back in 15th again, which is good. It's exactly where we want to be. Okay, Simon, your lap times are pretty consistent. Back end started to come around a little bit there, I felt that. Push, 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 we can get this guy. We're officially out of draft range now, but that's okay. Behind us now, I don't think so. That's okay. Well, we're good with where we are. We've got uh, probably two, three laps left, and we're done. Oh, he's just put it in the fence. Thanks. How is he still going? I can almost see the cam bar from here. Two minutes to go, two minutes. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name. I was going to ask him how he's going. I'm just not feeling this car, this track, this temperature. Oh boy. That was a big slide. That was. Holy shit. <laughs> Corey, what happened with you? Oh, I got on the grass, coming out of turn one. Okay, Simon, five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. Beautiful, that's two laps. Two full tight. I got no tires. This thing is just so slippery. Whew. 
I have no confidence on turning. I have no confidence on the braking. Does not make for a fun car. Here we go, final lap. Last lap. A little bit of a lock up. Oh, three off tracks. That's okay. I'm happy with that. 45 minute race. Lots of close quarters early on. It's only had 3x, that's pretty good. And so there's a big battle going on up ahead, so it may not be over yet. Going at it pretty hard up there. But uh, starting to wind down a little bit now. Don't want to make any mistakes. Yeah, it looks like the uh, fight up there is done. Just send it. Good race, guys. Clean and fair. It was actually a very clean IMSA race for once. Um, what do we have? Two, maybe three cars off? I don't know if it was well, because I've still of... Had three and a half litres left in the car. Somebody's like ...damage or because them. of other people getting hit. Oh, God. So clean. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's how we do it. P15. Good race, Phil. Good race, Phil. P15, that's it. We're done. Catch us all later.